here we are trying to uh, see a very simple uh, speech recognition technique. Our objective is to recognize uh, segmented uh, spoken numerics. If you look inside our database, we have segmented a complex database and uh, put the file says 0 underscore 4. This is the fourth instance of word 0. So if you play this one, it will play 0. zero, 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 zero. Alright. So like that, you have several files, instance of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, all these things and followed by you have a test instance, you have different segmented files. Now our objective is to recognize these characters. Now if you look inside program, we have basically two programs here. One is the training and one is the testing. So in the training part, I am asking the user to input a uh, file from a directory. So obviously my directory is complete set one. User selects a file. So whenever we are selecting the file, obviously the path name is also present with uh, UI get file option. So from that path, I'll be taking the directory structure with my pattern start.web. So db will contain all the files of uh, .web type in that directory. I'll read the file, separate double underscore, so I'll be having two part of the file. The first part is the numeric, the second part is the instance. I'll be reading that file name and I'll be calling LPC in order to get the LPC features. Now, <coughs> this P over here, if you press F1, if you click on any function, press F1, you'll get the coefficients, p order linear prediction coefficient. So you can vary P and check out uh, the response of the system. Now, we are going to perform a vector quantization of this uh, and we are going to get the coefficients. Vector quantization is ideally a compression technique uh, which will be applied after linear predictive coding and I am going to apply, uh, uh, put that feature into train and uh, I mean feature value into the uh, train. So train is ideally a structure, MATLAB structure where inside features I'll be having this F1 or nothing but the features extracted from this wave and I shall also store its name uh, which is present in B. B is nothing but the first part so you should remember that uh, it, it returns you 0, 1, 2 etc. I'll save this. Now if I run this one, uh, I'll just put a couple of lines here, CLC uh, close all, clear all and I shall run this one. Uh, so from database, I'll select one file. Ideally, it should extract the features from all the files. That should get me the features. Once feature extraction is done, I'll be going for my classification program. I've used two simple classifiers. One is PNN or probabilistic neural network cl classifier. Uh, another one is KN. The first part will remain to be same. I'll ask the user to enter one web file. From this web file, features will be extracted the same way that we have done it uh, for the training. Now, we need to extract the class name. So if you remember, inside name variable, I mean in name variable of TRN structure, we had this class name that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll, I'll make one variable C which will be continuously having say I have uh, five zeros followed by five one files, five two files. So C will contain zero 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 five times, one 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 five times and so and so. Then I'll be going with KNN classify. If you want to know more about it, just click on KNN classify F1. It takes samples or training instances as first input. I mean uh, the test instance as first input followed by training instance followed by group. So and it obviously takes uh, only the real uh, features it doesn't uh, uh, take uh, complex features as input so i'll convert test to real i'll convert f1 or my entire feature set uh, if you can remember the training was uh, done and put but the features were put inside a structure but the canon doesn't accept a structure so i would uh, put these values into a linear variable called f1 which is my training data so test data training data classes 
A is the result of what it has detected. Similarly, I'll construct a neural network. Uh, neural network's case is a bit different from K in classified. In neural network, you have to uh, you know pass the feature values such that all the classes are uh, all the classes should present in a single row. So, therefore, I'll convert C. Uh, I mean, I'll uh, take transpose of C such that all the classes comes in a single row. A neural network doesn't take 0 or minus 1 as input. It starts from 1. So I'll just add 1 with C values. And uh, because F1 is like you have n number of rows where n is the number of files and k number of columns where k is the number of features. But neural network expects all the classes to be in the row vector. So I'm also going to take F1's transpose and I will uh, take new PNN. Now for classification we use sim command. Uh, inside net I will be trying to simulate this test vector. Result is returned as a vector. I want it in the index format so I will convert it into index format. If you uh, see it I had added one while training so I will be subtracting one while testing. Let us see this result. Now. I will be going with the database, we have a database called test, so let me give 4 as input, so it is 4, KNN detects it as 4, ANN detects it as 4, again I will run, from a test I will select so something called something like 8, it is 8, it is detected as 8, it is detected as 8. Now how are you going to measure the accuracy is, if you go inside the LPC, you see I have taken only, uh, I have taken 8 features instead of that to make it 2. In your LPC program, you make it as 2 and again give your database as input, any of the files from the database you can give as input, I just trains it and now coming back to my test program, instead of 8, I will be giving 2. So I am not dealing with only 2 features. I will go inside test, I will try to detect this one and uh, it still detects. So you can just change the features and you can see how the detection rate is. So you can vary number of features, I will keep it uh, as 8 and uh, you can just have a look at the program. So this is a basically simple speech recognition can be performed using LPC features. Instead of LPC, you can use MFCC, male frequency substrum, or you can use both of this in conjunction, uh, uh, or you can also add vibrate features along with this. Uh, that's all. Uh,